Hey everyone, Karen Dubs here, FlexibleWarrior.com. If you're new here to my channel, please subscribe and you can hit the bell button at the top right corner and you'll get notifications every time I post a new video. So today we're going to do a little heart opening, um, a few exercises using the foam roller. So bust out your foam roller, maybe hit the pause button, go grab it and come back. We're also going to do some hip and hamstring stretches. So we're going to start with the foam roller first. So you can go ahead and plop it on down and um, we're going to start with the spine first and the low back. So a lot of people get low back tension. Yeah, hopefully I'm not alone there. And um, all these activities that we do really um, tighten up the back, right? So foam roller is just such a great inexpensive tool that you can use to loosen up your muscles. And what I really like to do is do the foam rolling combined with stretches. I have a few videos um, combining foam rolling and stretching. And so um, you can check them out on my channel. So what you want to do is really hit different parts of your back. So you're going to start with the lumbar um, spine, like the low back. And then we're going to hit the upper middle back and we'll spend about a minute on each. So keep rolling out your low back to start. So trying to focus really on the um, space right at the lumbar curve of the spine. All right. So deep breaths in and out through the nose. You know, hydration is so huge for keeping your muscles and your fascia and all your connective tissue healthy. So make sure, you know, just like when you get a massage, a deep tissue massage, and the um, massage therapist will tell you to um, drink a lot of water, right? Same thing with the foam rolling. Okay, so now we can move to the upper middle back, the thoracic spine. So you can um, bring the roller kind of right at the upper part of your rib cage. I'd like to take my hands behind the head so that as you draw the elbows up to the ceiling, you can really spread your shoulder blades apart and get that spot right between your shoulder blades and your scapula nice and loose. So just roll forward and back. If you do happen to find a really tight area, um, kind of hone in on that. Maybe rock a little bit back and forth so you really open up and loosen that tight area. And also if you tilt your knees a little bit to the right and to the left, you may get into a slightly different spot which feels kind of good, right? Now, so from here, um, you're gonna go ahead and drop your tailbone down. So the roller is right kind of at your scapula, upper middle back. I'm gonna scooch back just a little bit so you can see better. Um, and then what you're gonna do is let the base of your skull fall back into your hands and you're gonna back bend over the roller, which feels so good. Wonderful way to do a heart opener. So take a deep belly breath in and as you exhale, just really back bend over the roller. You can slide and tilt the, a little bit to the left. So the left elbow comes to the left side of the roller. And then the right elbow tilts to the right side. So you're kind of just squirming around a little bit and creating a little bit more space in the body. Take one more deep breath in at center and then just really fall back. So let the roller support you. Feel that nice stretch at the front of the shoulders, the chest. Beautiful heart opener. If you want to here, you can also let the knees fall out open to the side so you get an, a good uh, groin inner thigh stretch as well. So if that feels comfortable for you, add that in. Take one more deep breath in wherever you are. As you exhale, contract the abdominal wall, support your hands behind your head and support yourself up. So you can go ahead and sit up from there. Don't you feel better already? <laughs> So go ahead and sit up onto the top of the roller and your feet are going to be flat on the floor. You're going to take your left um, ankle over your right knee, take your right hand, put it across your left knee, tilt to the left, and then roll around on your left hip, piriformis, glute. Now I did a glute workout yesterday, a little yoga booty workout, and my glutes are a little bit sore, so I am feeling this quite a bit. If you are a runner or an athlete of any kind, I'm sure you're feeling the same. So go slow with it and consistency is the key like anything. So um, don't let it be another six months until you get your foam roller out, okay? Practice this on a regular basis. Again, 30, 60 seconds. You can certainly do this as you're watching TV. You know, it doesn't have to be fancy or perfect. As long as it feels good, you are doing it right. And um, it's definitely a little bit of a hurt so good sensation. Yeah, <laughs> let's do the other side. So put your right hand down, put your left foot down, and then just switch. So the right, right ankle goes over the left knee. I like to flex this foot, 
and then left hand goes onto the right knee. So it's opposite tilt to the right. So you're really exposing that hip joint and then roll around. So I don't wanna turn my back to you. So I'm gonna tilt a little bit this way. Again, if you um, want to, you can go around in a circle. There's no right or wrong. You can go from side to side like this. Um, if you find a tight spot, you know, hone into that. I always say like seek and destroy. So don't avoid those little tight sore spots. Go into them. Those are the ones that really need the most attention. Breathe. Remember the hydration is so key. So, um, you know, drink a big glass or two of water after we finish this little session. All right. So go ahead and finish that out and we are going to do some hip openers. So come off of your roller and um, I have my socks on. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel my socks off <laughs> at this point because you're gonna want a little bit of traction. So go ahead and sit back to child's pose. You can just move the roller off of your mat and to the side. Take a deep breath into your low back and then shift your weight forward, curl your toes, come into downward facing dog. So go ahead and pedal out the heels, get a little good stretch of the calves and the ankles. And we're gonna do a hip opener next, pigeon pose. So from your downward dog, you can take your right leg and extend it straight up to the ceiling. And then bring your right knee to your right wrist. Go ahead and slide back with your left foot. Get a little heart opener, so that just means walk your hands back, lift the chest, open the heart, take a big breath in, and then go ahead and release all the way down into your pigeon pose. So you can, if you're a little more tight actually, you can certainly take the foam roller and sort of prop it underneath your hip if that works for you. Also you can stack your fists on top of each other and rest your forehead on your fists. Otherwise, your forehead can come all the way down to your mat. You can spread your elbows out wide. And your job when you're in that pigeon pose is to take nice deep breaths in and out through your nose. So deep inhales and exhales as you release into that right hip. On your next breath in, really try to expand your lungs and your rib cage. And as you exhale, soften, surrender, let go. Try to really relax into the stretch. From there, we're going to go ahead and prop up. Bring your right hand off of the right side of your mat. Sit over to the side and then bring your left hip around. So we're going to get um, double pigeon here. So uh, if you're a little bit more tight, don't worry about how far you get in these stretches. Just this alone might be a stretch for you. If you are a little bit more flexible, you can bring the left foot over the right and um, you know see how that feels for you. If you feel it in any way in your knee, go ahead and bring it back in front of the shin. And then you can walk your hands forward from there so you feel a stretch in your low back, probably into your hips. You know, wherever you're feeling it, is where you're supposed to be feeling it. So we're all put together a little bit differently. Everybody has a slightly different place in their body that they carry tension. Wherever you're feeling it, breathe, try to relax, surrender. Maybe you can walk your fingertips just a little bit more forward. Maybe you walk them over to the side a little bit, see if that gets you a little bit more stretch in your low back. If you did walk to the side, make sure you walk to the other side. Breathe deeply, surrender into the stretch. Go ahead and walk it all the way back up and we are going to come back to downward facing dog. So however you want to get there, go ahead and come into your downward dog. Take a big breath in. We are going to do a half vinyasa first. So you're going to inhale, draw forward to plank and pause. Exhale, bend your elbows, lower down. Inhale into a nice big back bend, heart opener. So really press through the palms, open through the chest, get a big breath in through the nose, and exhale, push back, downward facing dog. So now we're gonna get that on the left side. So the left leg's gonna come straight up. You're gonna take a big breath in, and then go ahead and step the left knee up to the left wrist for your pigeon. Before we come down into the pigeon, I want you to walk your hands back. So you can really focus on lifting the chest and the heart. So almost feel like, you know, when you do cobra pose or that vinyasa we just did, you feel that back bend sensation. The heart is lifting, the chest is open, the breath can come in deeply. And then from there, go ahead and release down into your pigeon. So same thing, you can certainly take the roller or a pillow or something and prop it underneath your left hip, if that feels good. 
Um, you can stack your fists on top of each other and rest your forehead on your fists. Or you can plat, um, plant your, relax your head all the way down to the mat. So whatever option feels good for you, that's what you should do. Really listen to your body. There's no right or wrong, really. There's no expectations. There's no judgment. Just breathe and relax and allow your tight areas to open. Take one more big, deep breath in. As you exhale, see if you can consciously relax a little bit more. Let it go. Let your hips soften. And then prop your hands all the way up from there. Drop your left hip onto the mat and bring your right shin out in front. So you may immediately notice that one hip is tighter than the other, like you feel more open on this side or more tight on this side, that's fine. Again, you don't wanna feel it in your knees. If you are more open, you can um, stack your foot on top, if that feels good. Otherwise, foot right in front, take a big breath in. You're almost done, stay with me. And then come into that forward fold position. So forward folds in yoga are very introspective and in the winter time it's a great time to just look inside to find a little bit more quiet time. Feel like you're a little seed in the ground, a, a little seed in a dark space um, and really taking the opportunity to look inside and to gather your energy and strength. Let's take one more deep breath in. Again, if you want to walk a little bit more forward, feel free to do that. Stretching the low back, breathing into the low back, all the way into your hips. And then walk it back from there. And we're going to do one more pose. So you're going to use your foam roller for a supported chest opener here. I love to do this. It's great for your spine. So you're going to use the roller um, and just, uh, here, let me roll it back just a little bit. You're going to sit on one end of it. So your tailbone is all the way down at the very end of the roller so that when you lie down, your head is on the other end of the roller. You don't want your head off of the back of the roller, okay? So you don't want your neck to be extended. You want your neck to be neutral with your spine. So just uh, the foam roller is the length of the tailbone all the way up to the top of your head. I'd like for you to take your feet about five, six inches apart. So the feet are out wide, maybe hip distance or wider and then the knees are going to knock together. That gives you just a little bit of a, like a tripod, a little base of stability. And then your hands are going to be down by your side with your palms facing the sky. Your job for the next 30 seconds is to be completely still, to allow your spine to neutralize, to allow your breath to deepen, and to fall into a place of rest, recovery, and stillness parasympathetic nervous system, which is in charge of rest and recovery. So deep breaths. Allow the foam roller to support you. Allow any tension to melt from the shoulders, the face, the neck, and the jaw. Now you are welcome to stay here as long as you like. If this is feeling super restorative for you, Feel free to stay for another couple minutes. Otherwise, just roll off carefully. You're rolling off the side of the roller to one side. So you're gonna roll all the way onto your back and just hug your knees into your chest. Okay, and we're gonna do a quick um, spinal twist just to release the low back. So as you lie onto your back with your knees into your chest, you can do a little knee stir around in one direction and the other. And then your arms are going to come out into a T position and you're going to drop your knees over to the right, getting a good twist through the spine. You can look over your left shoulder. Take your right hand on top of your left knee. Give a little gentle press. Take a big breath in through the nose. And exhale, bring it all the way back to center. And let's do the same thing on the other side. So both knees will fall over to the left. You can look over your right shoulder. Left hand on top of right knee, get a good twist of the spine, take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale, bring it all the way back to center. Good, you can rock and roll yourself up to sitting or just roll to one side and push yourself up. Cross your legs, stay with me, 30 more seconds, okay? So that you can complete the full cycle with three deep breaths. So roll your shoulders up, back and down, lift and open your heart, anchor your tailbone down and bring your hands to heart center. 
Take a deep breath in through the nose and reach the arms all the way out and up to the sky. You can look up and watch your palms touch. And exhale in to heart center. Do that one more time. Take a big breath in. Reach all the way out and up. Gather good positive energy and strength. And then exhale, draw it in and back to heart center. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste. And remember, you can subscribe to my channel. Feel free to send me any requests. And um, make sure that you empower yourself with flexibility. So strength is incredible. It's um, wonderful to challenge yourself, do hard things, work on your willpower factor, but also practice that chill power factor where you can rest, recover, and restore your mind, body, and spirit. All right, until next time.